Hi, I'm Steve Weinrieb, and I'd like to show you a technique I've been using with a new feature in Photoshop Creative Cloud. Using the ability to apply Camera Raw as a filter, we can apply the Camera Raw filter to smooth out skin in portraits. Even better, we can apply the Camera Raw filter to individual channels to get the best results. I'm going to demonstrate on this photo of this model, and her skin is pretty smooth. There is a little bit of more texture than I'd like to see because maybe the lighting was a little bit too harsh. I've already gone ahead and done a little bit of retouching to the skin using traditional retouching tools to a new layer over here in the layers panel uh, just to retouch some blemishes with the healing tools. But I'm going to go ahead just for convenience, flatten this image. What we're going to do is apply the camera raw filter in lab color mode. And that way we can better isolate just the lightness channel from the color channels and apply different settings to the different channels. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer. So let me just, from I'm going to right click here to bring up the contextual menu to duplicate layer. Another way to duplicate the background layer would be to simply drag the background layer down to the new layer icon. But I'm just going to right click and choose duplicate layer. That brings up the background copy layer. Now I have two layers, both identical. And in the channels panel, we can see this image is currently RGB. Going up to the image menu, mode, and I'm going to convert the mode of this image without flattening it to lab color. Now this image is broken up into, instead of red, green, and blue channels, a lightness channel and an A and a B channel our green and magenta, and our blue and yellow channels. And these are color opposites, and that, how, that is how lab color can create all the colors, but then isolate this one channel, just your brightness values, making lab color a very useful color mode. So what I'm going to do next is just click on the lightness channel to isolate that. Now, just a reminder, in the layers panel, I'm working on this background copy layer not on the composite image, not on the background layer, but the background copy. And then over in the channels panel for the lightness channel, I'm going up to the filter menu and dragging down to the camera raw filter. In the camera raw filter, I'm going to apply negative clarity, which applies a sort of faux soft focus look. If I drag clarity all the way to the left, you can see our image gets very, very soft. I'm just going to apply negative clarity to an amount of 35. And let me zoom in here. And I'll reset clarity so you can see the original. And then I'll just use Command or Control Z to undo. And you can see the original versus minus 35 clarity. Now that softened the image overall. So to make up for a little bit of that softening, I'm going to boost the contrast by just an amount of 15. So plus 15 on the contrast, and then click OK. And that applies the camera raw filter to the lightness channel. Next, I'm going to click on the individual color channels, the A channel first, and go back to the camera raw filter, apply the camera raw filter to the A channel. And for the A channel, I'm going to boost the clarity by an amount of 35. And this will just bring some of the contrast back while still allowing us to apply that softening to the skin tones, but it brings some of the contrast back to the overall colors in the image. And then I'm going to the B channel and again up to the filter menu, camera raw filter, and I bring back in the B channel and that color channel that boost to midtone contrast that applying positive clarity does and click OK. And now let's look at our composite and let me go to the history panel and you can see the original and what we have now. The original and what we've done. And we see a nice smoothing here in the skin. But when you apply the filter like we did the filter is, of course, applied to the entire image. Now, we could have made a selection first, because if you make a selection, the filter would only apply to the selected area. But we did something a little bit better. We created a new layer. 
and to that layer we can add a layer mask. So at the bottom of the layers panel I'll click the mask icon and that adds a layer mask to this background copy layer. I'll then take the brush tool, make black the foreground color, and let me just make the brush size a little bit bigger. And I'll paint black on the layer mask over the eyes just to bring the eyes back because if you hide the background copy layer, and I'll just do that here, you can see that that filter was applied only to the background copy layer. So by painting black on the layer mask, we see through the background copy layer. It's as if we're using the eraser, but non-destructively. We see through to the background layer, and I'll paint over the mouth, because in portraits you always want the eyes and the mouth sharp. No matter how much softening you apply, you probably will want the eyes and the mouth sharp. So let's just take a look by Option or Alt clicking on the mask. You can see what I've done is simply painted black on the mask over the eyes and the mouth. And now I'm going to reduce the opacity of the brush tool by 50%. And let me increase that brush size a little bit. I'll use my bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller, in this case bigger, and I'm going to paint over the nose just with an amount of 50% because I like to not bring the nose back all the way. I like to just paint the nose back to the original partially. So if I Option or Alt click on the mask, you can see that where the mask is black, you see through to the background layer, and where the mask is gray, you partially see through to the background layer. So again, I can hide the background copy layer to show you the original. There's the before and the after. Before and after. And that is the technique that we can use to apply the camera raw filter in lab color mode to individual channels to smooth out skin. Now, uh, simply apply the filter to the composite image and not to the individual channels. Now, but I find you get a little better contrast with the technique that I showed you, uh, especially in the shadow areas, softening the image this way. Of course, the last thing you might want to do before you output the image is change your mode back to RGB. So we'll go up to the image menu again, go to mode, and RGB. And you can choose here if you don't want to flatten the image, uh, you don't have to. You'll still see the results of the negative clarity and how we apply clarity and contrast to the individual layers. But you won't be able to do that to the RGB image any longer. You'll want to go back to lab color mode if you want to make changes from here. But because you've already applied this, if you want to make a uh, change that's different, I suggest you hide your background copy layer and make a new background copy because, again, you can't apply the smart filter in lab color mode. But this technique works very well. Now that you're back in RGB, save your working file. Always save your working file. And then you could flatten your image and output as a JPEG or in whatever format you want. Enjoy this new feature. It provides them for some terrific flexibility editing photos using both Photoshop and Camera Raw. This is Steve Winery for Imaging R&R. Thanks to Whole Cloth Productions for producing and hosting this video.